Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency search team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NVC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called Next Generation Special Forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? Don't forget they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. I thought using genetically modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. How could an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. High-Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. Too bad we'll be meeting under these circumstances. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. His job was to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. Uh, the 
details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <gasps> Pretty shocking, huh? His skin tone is different, but otherwise you two are exact duplicates. I have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You've got something that he doesn't. I can see it in your eyes. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? I need to borrow your scissors. What are you going to do? Don't worry, just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists.